Good evening, ma'am. My name is Dhruv Khanna and is Balaji Chitamram and our project title is Heuristic Optimizer. In the Heuristic Optimizer, we are implementing Heuristic Query Optimization and thus proposing a system for a Query Optimizer. This basically tries to reduce the number of accesses by reducing the number of tuples and attributes to be searched. Currently, Oracle has the cost-based optimization system built in and whose goal is either to either for output or response time. The heuristic optimizer, which is our approach, is a, it is a unique method of early selection and early projection to reduce the number of tuples and attributes. A key difficulty for DBMS is to optimize a query in a timely manner as the need for faster and better query responses never cease to exist. This is ensured by the heuristic query optimizer as it follows strict heuristic rules. This optimizer also performs more restrictive join operation that is with the smallest result size before any other similar operation. So a query is transformed into a highly optimized one. Uh, now my friend Balaji will explain how using heuristics in query optimization works. So basically, Parser generates an initial internal representation of the query. And then we apply some basic heuristic rules to optimize that query. That is to uh, implement selection and projection as early as possible before using join, I mean, equivalent of partition product or any other binary operation. So uh, my group mate is going to explain about cost based optimization in SQL. Plus. Basically, a cost-based optimizer um, works as follows. First, it generates all possible query execution plans, and as the cost of each plan is estimated. Finally, based on the estimation, the plan with the lowest estimation cost is chosen. The advantages of using a cost-based optimization system is rather than considering time constraints adapt to client requirements, and the speed of query retrieval increases. And the disadvantages are that the users Cost based optimization is expensive and uh, is hence disadvantageous. Sometimes it takes a lot of storage space or memory space, you know, first fetch the tables and queries and then operate on it. So that's why it's not as optimal as, as the heuristic query optimization. This is another, another way of uh, optimization is the semantic query optimization. Two queries are semantically equivalent if they return the same answer for a database. For this purpose, it uses integrity and constraints to match the results. Uh, its advantages are that it supports recursive queries and queries having negation and disjunction. And its uh, negative points are that it's only suitable for simple prototypes. And uh, no implementation in the commercial market really exists for this semantic query optimization. So this is our proposed query optimization, which we plan to implement in SQL, which uses currently, currently uses cost-based query optimization. So as we already learned, heuristic optimizer reduces the number of access by reducing the number of tuples, tuples and records basically and number of columns to be searched. Attributes. Yeah, attributes to be searched by implementing so I mean select. I mean, selection and projection as early as possible. List of commands to be followed in order to implement heuristic query optimization. Now we're going to demonstrate a simple query. And before that, this is one of the basic examples. I mean, one of the, this is an unoptimized query. Here we are trying to find, find all the records from the table, branch and customer where branch.name equal to valor and customer.city equal to valor. Now we perform the optimization and process and uh, the optimized optimize query is shown as select star from select again star from branch where branch.name equal to valor comma. This actually reduces the number of attributes and doubles to be searched and hence is a more optimized query. This is another example in which we can see the loan and borrower. They borrow the books and all the tuples are recorded by the attributes of title, author, P name, etc. 
given. This is basically a tree example which is not so optimized and uh, the optimized one should be followed. Yeah. So this is the software that we use. Basically, it's an online based tool called Measure Algebra Calculator or Relax basically. Here, it can convert relational algebra queries into SQL or vice versa. And in this particular query, basically, we have got three tables, R, S, and D, but we are going to just operate on R and S. R has three attributes, A, B, C, and S has D and D. Here, we have got a basic query where we want to uh, find where yeah, is display A and B attributes from the table where both, uh, I mean, both, let's see, D is present in both R and S, right? So we are performing an equitoid on it. And here you have got a tree structure. Tree structure. Like, first they'll find the partition product between R and S. And then we'll apply the condition. And then we will project just those two attributes. Nice. And this is the final answer. This is the final answer. Though. Yeah. Now, and this is our optimized query. And yeah. the group it will explain it. Yeah, as you can see, they are performing two select operations as we saw earlier on that valor query. And uh, we can see that in the tree, it is more optimized. So this is the optimized query. And as you can see in the tree structure, first for R, we just select columns A and D, and for S, B, because we are just going to operate on those two attributes, A and B, and B of the other one. So it's totally two. And then from that, we will select those in which, and then we will find the Cartesian. We will we'll implement equitoid and then uh, find a new table. And once we get these, we can see we are applying a selection criteria that is uh, B attributes of RT table is equal to B attributes of the ST ST. table. And then we will just project columns A and B finally. Get the query. Yeah. And, and this I... is the result, and this is the relational algebra uh, equivalent of the SQL query. And these are the, the references process. which we use used for uh, the project, making this project. Yeah. Although we could not get the proper. Uh, time to perform the GLL and everything because that was beyond our reach. So thank you.